Hey YouTube, if you saw my review on the iCut 60 plasma cutter, you'll understand why I'm in the market for a new plasma cutter. It was a very short lived project that one. But I've just taken possession of a brand new Hypertherm PowerMax 45 XP and I'd like to invite you all to the unboxing. I now have a brand new Hypertherm PowerMax 45 XP and I expect the unboxing and assembly of this is going to go a lot more smoothly than the Chinese variety. Well, already I'm impressed. That looks way better. Than what we had before. And all I've got out is the handle, the torch. Wow, now that is a beautifully long earth weight. Mm. A couple of sets of consumables in there. That is a manual. Okay, well that was expected. I knew I'd get the American plug on it. That's the 15 amp 240 volt American plug. And I'll have to cut that off and put an Australian variety on it. Okay, just packaging left in there. Get that out of the way. Pick that up. There's one out there. Well, there we are. Quick connect, ready to go. Naturally, the quick connect that was on there didn't match any of the fittings that I already have in the workshop, so I had to change that out. Built in moisture trap. Don't have to fit that. Hmm. Not quite sure what the purpose of them would be, but nevertheless, they're there. That is just excellent. Really, really excellent. Alright. <coughs> I think I may have a slight problem in that I don't have enough room on my welding cart um, board reels to fit both of these. So I may have to mount something else as well. Excellent. The electrician couldn't do the plug on the spot, but he did hotwire it into the fuse box so that we could test that it wasn't DOA. And I gave it a good run on a very thick piece of metal and was absolutely impressed with the performance. Because everything was so rushed at the time, I didn't actually get a video of the cutting. But I've got the material here that was cut. I'll show you that. And as soon as we get the plug sorted, I'll get another one together showing the cutting of some super thick material. As you can see, the piece of metal that I cut is an inch and an eight thick. That's just under 30 millimeters. And the Hypertherm 45 is rated at five eighths of an inch, which is just a shade under 16 millimeters. So this piece of metal is roughly twice as thick as the rating for the machine. 
and as you can see it's still cut it. Now I had to cut fairly slowly and I had to watch the sparks exiting at the bottom to monitor the speed I was cutting at but nevertheless this unit managed to make a cut through it and we were pressed for time so I didn't cut it right off I just did enough proof that she was working and, cut, and that we could cut through that. All in all I'm very impressed with this and as soon as we get a PowerPoint in for it, I'll get a video showing just what its capabilities are. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and as soon as I get a PowerPoint in, I'll do something a little bit more comprehensive. Until then.